Hello, that was a new entry for our video today. Welcome, my name is Nordvan and I'm really happy to see you today. Today we start a series that is called Three Things We Know About Jack the Lines 3. This is part one and uh, let's go. The first thing we already know is what the country we play in is called, it's called Grand Chien. Or Chien. And uh, the president of Grand Chien is kidnapped, is missing, and his daughter Emma Lafontaine hires us and we hire some mercenaries to deliberate the country and find the president and bring peace back in this small little fictional country settled in Africa. Right now we have not seen many pictures of Grand Chien, there is just some small hints and the map, the map overlay in the trailers that is showing us a part of it because on those pictures you can see on the left side there's some sectors uh, cut off so it's probably bigger than the pictures show us but there's no picture right now that shows us the whole map and how big it really is and how many sectors you can deliberate in there. What I'm really curious about the map settled in a fictional country in Africa is how they mix up all the biomes because you probably have some green parts and sectors, you have some brown gray sectors, a lot of sand, maybe some oasis. This is going to be interesting because it is kind of a hard work to put all the sectors together, all the biomes, so they don't look artificial but they have a good transition to each other and maybe, and that would be the, what I'm most curious about is if the different biomes change some tactics. So the sand, maybe just a sandstorm and it's hotter so they don't have, can wear that much clothes or whatever. That's uh, going to be interesting. So the second thing we already know about Jacklines 3 is something they announced on the Gamescom. And in the Gamescom they show journalists that there will be destructible buildings in there. So they show a picture, I found that picture on the game of global.de where they show a building that has smashing walls and floors and they say they can be done with explosive, dynamites, grenades, RPGs. This is going to be fun, but it's probably only buildings. It's not trees or benches or some other environmental things. Probably only buildings and probably partly. So this is going to be interesting. The interesting part about that is that they didn't show any destruction in the trailers and this is kind of suspicious because why wouldn't you show that if you have that cool feature that many games don't <sighs> yeah <laughs> I don't know so maybe wait for another footage to really show that if they have a feature maybe it's not finished yet maybe um, it didn't work really well so they put it out of the gameplay footage who knows but well stay tuned on that the third thing we already know in Jack Lines 3 is that there will be 40 mercenaries. That's 23 less than we had in Jack Alliance 2. And they tell us the reason why it's less mercenaries. And the reason is that they had to do models for every mercenary and they recruited a voice actor for them. And there was much more effort put in there and it needed much more detailing and modeling than it was in Jack 2 because in Jack 2 you only had like a female and a male model figure. They had different colors of the shirts. They maybe had a different weapon and that's it. So that was way easier to put more mercenaries in there because you just needed a picture, the small pictures you had on the left side to bring them in. So now they have a model, a detailed 3D model for every mercenary. So they shrank it down to 40. But I think that is totally okay right now. If they are good, and detailed characters and they have good voice actors that present their character and bring um, bring in some of the, the jokes and the humor J2 had. Which feature would you like to come back in J3 maybe from J2 or which new feature would you like that has never anyone seen before or maybe which, what, which feature should they copy from XCOM for example. Write it down in the comments and let me know. Well that's it and the video we are already done. That was a short one so I hope you liked it. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, maybe hit that little bell. I would appreciate that that helps me as a content creator. Thank you for watching and see you next time.